Hello again, friends. While the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous have been an enormous help to millions of people who struggled not only with alcohol, but a variety of other substances and addictive habits from food addiction to pornography, to gambling, to anger issues, oh, the list is long. And those steps are set out in a particular order for good reasons. The first three are a package that seem to go together and they really do echo numerous references in the Bible where these principles are laid out. We first admit that we're powerless over something and that our life has become unmanageable. And the Bible says, for I know that good itself does not dwell in me, that is in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. Then we embark on a journey where we come to believe that a power greater than ourselves can restore us. Yes, us, to sanity. Although we're not sure what sanity even looks like. Step two, in the Bible, in Philippians, we read, It is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. And then finally, we make a decision to turn our will and our life over to the care of God as we understand him. Because, you know, it's only in the presence of real care that we can dare to be ourselves, let down our guard, own our pain and insecurities, and find the help we need. And this familiar verse from God's word, God so loved the world and each one of us in it, that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Do you know, hundreds of years before any of those words were written and thousands of years before the 12 steps of AA were produced, we find such common experience in Psalm 34. It strikes me every time I read it. it. fills me with hope, reminds me to call out to God, to seek God's help today, no matter how strong or how weak I feel. Here are just the first few verses of that psalm. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. Oh, thank you so much, God, that when we were helpless, we found help by calling out to you. We're grateful that we don't have to pretend to be strong and have all the answers, but to simply come to you for whatever we need. We can freely admit that we're powerless and that our lives are unmanageable without you. The next verses in the psalm say, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. In my desperation, I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. Lord, you took us one tiny step at a time from not knowing you to not trusting you hardly at all to the point where we knew that we'd always find a welcome and comfort and loving support. Thank you so much for your saving help. I don't think we can even imagine how many troubles you saved us from, let alone the ones we're aware of. Thank you most of all for freeing us from all our fears and lifting the weight of shame off our shoulders. We ask you to keep informing us of any residual bits that give us heavy hearts and help us to let go of those accusations and contemny thoughts. We're so glad to be able to look up and stand tall as the people you've created us to be. Those you set free, God, are free indeed. And we're reassured in the next verses that say, For the angel of the Lord is a guard, he surrounds and defends all who fear him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Well, we're thankful for each day of goodness that you've given us, God. We, we don't want to get lost in what was missed in our yesterdays or get in a fuss over what we don't know about tomorrow. Help us today to simply live in your care in this day 
trusting your loving understanding for us and our situation to prepare all we need to have a good and joyful day. We're not quite sure how you do it, but we know you can. So we make that decision to turn our will and our life over to your care. One moment, one situation, one day at a time. And so together we pray that God, the source of hope, will fill us completely with joy and peace because we trust in him. Then we will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, these are great principles to settle our lives on. I love the little saying that we have that for these steps it says, I can't, God can, I think I'll let him. Let's do that today, shall we? Have a great day.